Muchas gracias, señor Núñez. Thank you, Mr. Muñez. I now give the floor to Mr. Maricos, representative of the World Federation of Trade Unions. You have the floor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Queridos que queridos. Ladies and gentlemen, also this year the annual conference of the ILO is taking place under conditions of a deep crisis within the capitalist system. A deep crisis that is affecting all levels of all fields, the economy, political, the cultural and the environment. The European Union is in deep crisis. Greece, Spain, Italy, Portugal, Ireland, Belgium, etc. Now the crisis is reaching the core. It is knocking at the doors of France and sending messages to Germany itself. The deep crisis affecting almost all countries in the European Union dangerously intensifies competition among the countries. Germany is trying to build its own alliances with Russia and others. France is trying to build its own alliances as well. The competition among these capitalist states for control of the new markets, for the formation of new borders, for natural gas, for oil, for energy pipelines, brings serious dangers for peace and serious dangers for the people. In Libya, 120,000 people died because of the control of the wealth-producing resources. In Syria, the emirs, the kings and the sultans in the Persian Gulf, in line with the Turkish government, are providing weapons for Syrians to kill each other. Imperialists are pushing South Sudan to establish new demands day after day. In Somalia, Nigeria and the Falkland Islands, the situation is also dangerous. The slanders of the USA and EU against Venezuela, Cuba and the inhuman blockade, the situation in Pakistan and in Afghanistan. All of these complete the picture of imperialist interventions. We as workers, as the class-oriented trade union movement, as the World Federation of Trade Unions, we have a duty to expose the plots of the exploiters and to edify workers of the world, inspiring them with a militant spirit of struggle, of internationalism, of constant struggle against imperialist wars. The WFTU and its members and friends around the world have conducted important struggles over recent years. The central struggle was the struggle against unemployment. Unemployment is a social phenomenon, a product of capitalism. Unemployment affects everyone, but especially women and youth. The figures show that 75 million young people are looking for a job today. The ILO can easily express wishes, generalities and make vain promises. For too long now we have been listening to nice words about dignity, equality and democratic rights. But today, men and women of the ILO, there are 200 imprisoned Palestinian young people in Israeli jails. What did you do for their freedom, for them to have a decent life and a decent future? Today, in Central America, about 4,000 children are being forced to participate in drug trafficking gangs. What did you do to intervene? Today, about 1,500 children are going to die this very day due to lack of access to water and related diseases. What, what did you do to intervene and what was the effect? In Greece, in the last two years, more than 2,350 poor people, pensioners and unemployed have committed suicide. What did the ILO do to denounce the Greek governments? Today in Greece, 52% and in Spain, 50.5% of the unemployed are young people. The WFTU sent a letter to the ILO to intervene against this and you did nothing about it. Thousands of young people are suffering from HIV AIDS and they cannot obtain medication. Life expectancy in Botswana has dropped by 20 years, in Swaziland 16 years, and in Lesotho and Zambia 13 years over the last decade. In Swaziland, young people are being chased out of the country by an undemocratic regime. In Kazakhstan, strikers and trade unionists are being murdered. In Malaysia, trade unionists are being dismissed. In Colombia, trade unionists are murdered every day. And the ILO removed the government of Colombia from the Standards Committee list. In the mines of Chile and Peru, workers are dying every day. What precautionary measures are being imposed by the ILO? The rights of the workers of the world to strike are under attack worldwide. Attacks against workers in 
Helen Ki Halivurgia, who have been on strike for 200 days. And workers in Unilever France, who have been on strike for 600 days, prove this. In Panama, workers on the Panama Canal are not allowed to strike. For us, the WFTU, dignity, equality and social justice are not generalities. That is why on the 3rd of October 2012, WFTU will announce an international action day based on the slogan, food, clean water, books, medicine, housing for all the workers and the people of the world. We chose this because we really believe that in the 21st century it is a crime that workers are dying because of hunger and thirst, that people are living in the streets, that millions of pupils have no books, that sick people have no medicine. We believe it is a crime that transnationals and monopolies are plundering the wealth producing resources of the world and people are left to suffer. The world is unfair, the world is undemocratic and we as the WFTU will continue to struggle until we change it and build a world where man is not exploited by his fellow man.